team is, quote, scrambling to unmask the feds investigating him. Trump telling his allies if he becomes president again, he wants the DOJ to, quote, quickly and immediately purge the FBI and DOJ of the officials who led these Just probes. go to the part that's incontrovertible, which is that the Russians meddled in the election. All 17 of our intelligence agencies say that. You would agree to that, right? Well, come on. The, and come we, on. Not, so the, we can get into the back oh. and forth and into the minutiae of that letter you're talking about, because no, actually, letter. the 17 All agencies 17 you're talking about. All 17 agencies have said Russia did. So do you think the president didn't win the election? I'm, that Answer my question right. first. All 17 of Whose side are you on? I'm on America's side. Okay, but then all of our intelligence agencies say this. They say that time heals all wounds, and they are wrong. <laughs> time can also fester all wounds. Then you gotta start lopping stuff off before it spreads. True. Biden is guilty of obstruction. Boxes unchecked. Many found in Chinatown. Heavy on classified documents. He has been totally uncooperative, won't show the documents under any circumstances, and is fighting like hell. And I'm beginning to think it's time to reach for the bone saw, because anybody who still believes Donald Trump at this point is gangrene on the body politic. Thanks so much for being here with us. I think everybody wants to know, after the news this week, why did you leave the former president's legal team? So, as I said at the time, it had nothing to do with the case itself or the client. The real reason is because there are certain individuals that made defending the president much harder than it needed to be. I want to talk about Boris Epstein. It turns out that the previous video I made many months ago, I'm going to have to go find it just so I can put this picture up, was absolutely right. This dude is our ace in the hole. Back then, my biggest fear was we had elected an asset of the Russian government who would sell out America at every opportunity just to save his own hide. My biggest fear now is that I was right. The uh, politour sent a letter to Congress saying Trump didn't pack the documents himself. He had no dirty hands. It was his staff who did it. And then Trump went on that town hall and said, no, I did it. I'm the one who did it. Here it is. And so that's why I think that they're so frustrated with Trump. And instead, they're just blaming it on, all on Boris Epstein. Mm, I think they're trying to cover for Trump. Uh, in particular, there's one individual who works for him, uh, Boris Epstein, who had really done everything he could to try to block us, to prevent us from doing what we could uh, to to defend the president. The lawyer's concerns here were twofold. Number one, Trump is under investigation for so many things that his legal team is massive, and these lawyers do not all get along. But more than not getting along, these lawyers are also wondering if one of them could be a snitch. Quote, what's really driving the deepest distrust is the way special counsel Jack Smith's investigators have started turning up the heat on Trump's own lawyers. And after getting caught publicly betraying the country he's the president of, yesterday, Donald Trump cunningly fixed it. Absolutely nothing wrong, but was purposely given by the DOJ and Biden, a Trump-hating prosecutor, Jack Smith. He's a Trump hater. His wife's a Trump hater. His family's a Trump hater. They all hate Trump. They hate him with a passion. They'll do anything they can to hurt Trump. But he's a harasser and an abuser of our people. That was Boris's fault, or that's Evan's fault. That's what he's going to say. Like, I'm not the one who said this, but then if the reports are right, that he's the one who told his valet, Nada, Walt Nada, to move the documents before and after the subpoena, oh, that's a one-way ticket to the Hooskow. You can understand why people are upset. That's like Paul Revere saying, the British are coming, the British are coming. This way, British, follow me. We'll get them while they're sleeping. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. No, that Boris Epstein is the subject, at least, of multiple criminal investigations. You know, he went and sat uh, for an interview with the special counsel in the January 6th investigation. He went and testified to the Fulton County District Attorney's investigation in Georgia examining election interference there. He is a subject, potentially a defendant, in multiple criminal investigations, and he is currently representing, as the in-house counsel, in his own words, the president, the former president, who himself is the subject, if not the target, of these same criminal investigations. So it is rather astonishing. So, how so do I know? Okay, but then you're, 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 if the, if like, the age... your, like your boy Trump, you're saying you I don't believe 
are intelligence agencies. No, what I'm saying is this. Well, you the, don't. The president, well, let me, let me answer. This the is what they say. The president won the election fair and square. That's not the, the pre, point the or the question. Whether there was an attempt at meddling, again, how would I know? You're asking me to, if that's Because what the agency our says, intelligence says. agencies, all of them, say there was. Okay. Okay. Well, so, see, Boris, this is why we are having a problem. Well, what's the so because what? Because I can't even get you to come to the place that all people, including the Republicans, agree is the fact that Russia did meddle in our election. Well, and it's not at, quite agreed as fact, but as there, was it, there a seeming it is attempt a fact. to meddle? It is settled science. Okay. Terrible. Is there anybody you'd like to apologize to right now yourself? Uh, no. No? <laughs> Confirmed this week by Trump's own lawyer, who's had to quit in disgrace, and of course, you know, he's gonna blame it on somebody else, but that's fine, whatever. He made a little bit of news. And he was not very honest with us or with the client on certain things. Uh, there were certain things like the searches that he had attempted to interfere with. And then more recently, as we're coming down to the end of this investigation where Jack Smith and ultimately Merrick Garland is going to make a decision as to what to do. It seems that Boris Epstein was stopping the searches at Bedminster? Wow, I wonder why Boris Epstein wouldn't want there to be any searches. Hmm. Sidebar? Even Trump lawyers have either testified to Jack Smith's grand jury or they have met with federal investigators. And it seems like these attorneys are starting to get worried about going down with the ship here. And today, The Guardian is out with new reporting about the Trump lawyer who is the liaison between Trump and the DOJ. Evan Corcoran, that lawyer, was in charge of returning the classified documents to the department. Did Boris tried to prevent you from conducting searches? What searches are those? Th this is the searches that, at uh, Bedminster um, initially. Uh, there was a lot of pushback from him where he didn't want us doing the search, and we had to eventually overcome him. Now, Corcoran reportedly told associates that in June of last year, he was waved off searching any room at Mar-a-Lago beside a, besides a single storage room. When Mr. Corcoran was looking for classified documents, he was told to check that one room and not to check anywhere else. He was waved off from searching places like Trump's office, which is where, of course, months later, the FBI would find the most highly classified documents. Remember the letter that he signed saying, yeah, all the documents have been returned. He refused to sign the letter. He got Christina Bob to, yeah, sign, to it. sign it. Never a good idea if you're a lawyer uh, to sign a letter you didn't write yourself and the person who, who wrote it won't sign it himself. So yeah, I think uh, in this case, you're seeing all these lawyers trying to point the finger at each other. They're all in trouble. That's why they say that MAGA stands for making attorneys get attorneys. Yeah. I think that's true. This guy, Tim Parliter, is kind of an idiot. Just like all the other Trump liars, because you would have to be to have Donald Trump as a client. Boris Epstein is an actually bigger idiot, but he's so damn crooked. He's gonna help us bring Trump down. You know, he is a lawyer. He spent about 18 months at a big firm doing transactional work, and I think he just thinks, based on my experience, he knows better than all of us. All good. Really a good person on the staff to send, so we made the decision, I made the decision, to go in myself and to face the prosecutors. So at this point, it certainly seems like a lot of Trump lawyers are effectively saying, not it. Anyway, <laughs> fixed it. It is, quote, indicative of the staff's packing process and not any criminal intent by former President Trump. The problem is the former president, his allies, and even at least one of your fellow attorneys have all publicly contradicted that explanation for how these things ended up down at Mar-a-Lago. I think there are at least four official explanations that they've put down about the status of these documents. He had issued a sweeping declassification order on multiple occasions so the documents removed from the Oval Office were deemed declassified when he removed them. Did you ever see any evidence of any such order? I, I never saw the order um, itself. Uh, you yeah, know, that would not be something that we would have access to. He talks about how the White House is, you know, really at fault here because of their lackadaisical views on handling of, of top secret information. Only in the Trump White House, motherfucker. What a bunch of bullshit. This is the only president that wanted to keep the stuff. Council Smith that Trump ordered workers to move boxes back into the storage room right before his lawyer, Evan Corcoran, 
search that storage room. And all that happened one day before federal investigators came to collect the documents. If you're the president of the United States, you can declassify just by saying um, it's declassified, even by thinking about it. Okay. All right. That fixes. That fixes it. Just smooth. Smooth. The letter says that he wasn't really aware of these documents being placed because it was chaotic. They, they all were shipped down to Mar-a-Lago. How can you declassify something with your mind if you don't know that it's in one of these boxes? So is that Trump trying to mislead his own lawyers? So there's the issue of classification or declassification, which is separate and apart from the issue of document management and what goes into boxes. Were some of Trump's lawyers also actively trying to mislead other Trump lawyers? He is aware of a bureaucratic process that can be used. But at the end of his presidency, he relied on the constitutional authority as commander in chief, which is to take documents and take them to Mar-a-Lago while still president, as he was at the time, and to effectively declassify and personalize them. He talked about declassifying them, but he didn't need to. That's pretty terrible. But um, <laughs> you know what? Maybe he meant to say this. Because again, we're talking about document management, not declassification. But this is really about document management. Document management, document management. Talk about a talking point. This guy may not be Trump's liar anymore, but he's damn sure been sent out with a memo. Don't forget to say this, 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 and this over and over and over again. Just like heels with Russians. Let's change that to collusion. See, they weren't colluding. There's, there's no collusion. You can't prove collusion. What about collusion? See, look, there's no collusion. You don't back so them up. So there's a special counsel, and the special counsel will come out with an answer, and I'm confident that it'll show that there was no, just like the president said, no collusion. Now, whether Russia now, tried to I'm meddle, not, I, you I have specifically to ask said this is not collusion question. Right. This is the part that's not controversial. So this is the meddle question. Meddling. Russia meddled in our election. Please you'd just have, admit you'd that. You have to ask Russia whether they tried. Oh, for to fuck's sake. <laughs> I got, they absolutely, I gotta say, they, they loved it. I got, I got great reviews from Boris and Natasha. In order to obstruct and interfere with the 2020 presidential election, that's why they're doing it. You're the president. You're not the one who's actually going in the logbook and doing all of the entries to declassify something. You're just saying to your staff, hey, this document here I want declassified. Then you kind of take it with you. Now, Trump could just say they're declassified and then he can take it with him. You know, that's no big deal. You know, I'm keeping this. So it's somebody else's fault that they didn't write that down. What a bunch of bullshit. People aren't going to forget about this. It will be in the top three worst moments of his presidency. Three. The public will not stand for this unequal treatment. I'd have trouble holding it to a billboard top 100. And coming in at number 74, we've got Trump thinks Frederick Douglass is still alive. And this one is either conspiring to engage in criminal activities with his lawyers or he is using them. The lawyer may not know what they're being used for, but Trump is, is using their advice to perpetrate criminal conduct. That really adds up to a very unusual sort of situation here. Trump's walk back yesterday was more of a shamble. And you'd have to be some kind of idiot to buy it. Jimmy, roll the idiot. Never thought we would see a time where our government has been weaponized against its political enemies. It's really good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Document management, moving, storage, and what narrow procedures are upon the administration change uh, with the Presidential Records Act. The problem this guy has is that He's a little exposed here, and, you know, he might end up having to pay a fine or do a little bit of time. So, he's still got to cover Trump's ass. Because they're all crooked. Because the president doesn't even take the president at his word. We're talking about the presidential records, so records yep. that are created during the administration that right. belong to the government and should mm -hmm. be returned, and then also classified documents. It appears there were both in the boxes that went down to Mar-a-Lago. Last question before we break for a minute. Is there any evidence that the former president declassified the classified documents that were found in those boxes? The problem is that we don't have an inventory of what those documents are. 
You see, he would like to answer that question too, even though you know he's dodged every single question or gave a bullshit answer. But this particular question. But there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for why Republican leaders won't stick up for democracy. He really wants to answer, but they won't give him a list of all the top secret documents about nuclear weapons and our enemies, both foreign and domestic, that Trump has decided to, you know, show to all the people that he has over at Mar-a-Lago. Trump is a disgrace. I give fiery press conference tomorrow saying that nothing changes, Trump remains nuts and remains president, a nut beats me in the next primary, so how does my political suicide help? It's so hard to get the DOJ to, you know, give him a list. We really need a list, and if without a list, there's nothing we can do. A little difficult to chase that down. It reminds me of the famous moving speech from Braveheart. They may take our lives, but we, they may take our lives then how does that help anybody? Let's be English. I wonder, when the indictment comes down, how hard it's gonna be to chase down Trump. Will he turn himself in? Hmm. I feel a golf trip to Scotland coming on. That's nowhere near Scott. No, it's nowhere near Scottish. Or, you know, Brazil. Y'all take it easy. I'm Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal. I was part of the process to make sure there were alternate electors for when, as we hoped, the challenges to the seated electors would be heard and would be successful, part of the 12th Amendment of the Constitution and the Electoral Count Act. Everything that was done was done illegally by the Trump legal team, by according to, to the rules and under the leadership of, of Rudy Giuliani. Joe Biden is guilty. I am not at all. Thank you very much.